now and find out uh, stories of the day, trending topics, etc. So let's get into that right now. Well, first up, former treasurer of the ANC's Greater Johannesburg region, Jeff Makubo, is expected to testify at the Commission of Inquiry into allegations of state capture when it resumes this morning. And this promises to be very interesting given uh, what was revealed this week at the Commission regarding um, payments that Jeff Makubo is said to have received um, through EOH, Sisi Kotwa, um, Regin Kabinde, etc. So this promises to be quite interesting today. All right, looking forward to it. So that's starting, of course, this morning. The Labour Court in Johannesburg expected to hear trade union Bemau's urgent court application to stop the retrenchment process at the SABC. And just to recap on those uh, COVID-19 numbers, the, according to the latest statistics, and you know, Leanne, you've been saying all week, we need to watch these numbers mm -hmm. and what they're doing. 3,069 new coronavirus infections identified in the past 24 hours. And that takes the cumulative number of infections in the country to 778,571. And the death toll is now 21,289. And if I may add, the, 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 the reality is, is that those numbers that we we were reported on yesterday. I mean, this is over over 20,000 cases in a week that we've seen happening. And these are the last two days are minus Gauteng because there's been something not right with the numbers in Gauteng. I mean, Gauteng is, you know, the most uh, populous province. And yet we were sitting at, yeah, maybe 200 something active cases. And suddenly now those numbers have disappeared off of the reporting stats for two days in a row now because they're trying to really try and get that in order so just just beware be alert and and mm -hmm. and wear your mask sanitize do everything we've been told and that hopefully will help us and also you've got 0800 029 999 which is the 24-hour hotline the COVID alert sa app you can download that onto your phone and of course there's that whatsapp support service 0600 123 456 moving on to those trending topics now now first up Hashtag Mbeki, and this is, of course, former President Thabo Mbeki. And uh, this goes hand in hand with the hashtag put South Africa first. Um, you know, Leanne, this is a, a, a hashtag, the put South Africans first, that has been going on for quite some time and quite prominent on Twitter especially. Now, President Thabo Mbeki yesterday, or I'm not sure if it was yesterday, but I saw mm. the video, I'm not quite sure as to the uh, dating funny. of yeah. it. But this is what the president had to say, I think, in response to a question regarding that. That this thing is systematically organized all the time by people who are, who are opposed, opposed uh, to the development of our country. So anybody who, who kind of tries to blame the problems we have, and they are very real, whether it's problems of poverty and all of that, to blame all of those on these so-called foreigners and therefore to say drive the foreigners away, that person is not in the least interested in the future of our people. That person, I'm definitely certain, is in that really does destabilization of our country. You can't be notion so, of our, South Africa first in terms of our continent is illogical. So it's our apologies because, um, you know, unfortunately that particular clip just getting stuck there mm -hmm. as it um, is buffering. But uh, the former president basically saying that, as you heard there, maybe the, 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 the issues are very real. And, and there's no taking away from that, but perhaps our approach is less than ideal uh, in terms of how we are coming at these problems. And he uses the example of Lesotho, where he says, if this is about put South Africa first and Lesotho, for example, were to say, let's put Lesotho first, uh, we forget that we get, for example, here in Gauteng in the main, our water from uh, the Lesotho Highlands yeah, Water yeah. Project. So what would happen in that mm -hmm. uh, particular instance? But that's, of course, not where it ended. Then you have Mzwane Lemanyi coming out and he says, well, out of respect for uh, President Mbeki, we will visit him to explain hashtag put South Africans first. Clearly, he has been fed poison. We undertake to detox him. And as you can imagine, a that whole lot of discussions yeah. after that.
All right, so that's a bit of background to exactly what this trend is all about. Queen Sono, um, that unfortunately uh, is a, a Netflix series and it was not renewed for a second season. It was cancelled. The reason given is trying times, the current trying times. As you know, this is uh, Pearl uh, Tuzi's appearance in this. And then, of course, you know, that again brings in so many people's opinions whether they like queen sona whether it deserved a second season whether it's this but then people were saying but listen have a heart so many people have lost jobs because of this and uh, you know you know twitter you know how everyone mm. goes on different tangents but the reality is unfortunately queen sona not going in for a second season so that had a lot of people speaking yeah and then our final one um hashtag Dr. Thomas Chauke. Yes. And, and, and a, co a collaboration with uh, Shoma Josie. Josie. Oh. And I don't know if we have, um, uh, Shaw posted uh, like a 15 minute, uh, 15 second, second rather. Yeah, I, I wish it was 15 of, minutes. Of, of, of some of that. So we unfortunately don't have it. But if you go to Shoma Josie's um, Twitter feed, mm -hmm. you will find it there on her timeline. And the legendary Dr. Thomas Chauke. I remember a previous radio show that I used to do. This yeah. was one of the people that I wanted to interview. We just never got to it. But really? So is this is a, you just, a, it's a shout out. He's an absolute living you legend. Dr. Dead. Thomas Chauke Dr. has Chauke. done the most for the development and uh, the preservation of uh, Chitonga, traditional yeah. music and development of the language as well. Um, he is a recipient of the Order of Ikamanga. I know this because, as I say, I wanted to do an interview with him. So, um, really happy to see that collaboration with living legend uh, Dr. Thomas Chauke Fantastic. and Shoma Josie. So, so nice. All right. Well, there you go. Those are your trending topics. And uh, uh, keep your eye on social media. I can also see Thanksgiving is trending. And that's uh, uh, what was happening in the U.S. But uh, Black Friday, guys. Black Friday. That's another big growing trend. So, watch for that one. And take it easy out there if you are running off to your Black Friday specials. All right. We're going to take a break here on the program. After that, we have got Professor... Maluleke, who's going to be your guest in conversation? Yeah, indeed. Professor Jiniko Maluleke uh, will talk about uh, yesterday's constitutional court application that was heard uh, regarding the public protector and that investigation into uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa's hashtag CR17 campaign funds for his election to the ANC presidency. So that's coming up after the break with uh, political analyst uh, Professor Jiniko Maluleke. <laughs> 